Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and, well, the games play. Um. Water. Oh, speaking of, I need water. You need water, so go get your water. Come on now, you guys know the drill. I don't want to be it. Don't want to be it. Get your waters. Okay. You gotta show the day ones. You know what I'm saying? Only day ones will know. All right, guys. Well, welcome back to Kai Topper. Thirty one days of terror with a sprinkle of chaos. So, if you're new here, if you're uneducated, if you're low key kind of dumb, it's okay because I'm low key kind of dumb too. Whoa, water has an expiration date? All right, guys, so we're gonna be playing a game called Cold Front. I think it's a visual, no, it's a horror RPG, not a visual novel. So let's get started during Kytober. Ooh, spooky. On a cold winter evening, a new family moved into the house next door. Oh. Then a few days later, a bright doorbell echoed throughout the house. I quickly followed behind my mother, walking to answer the door to peek at who would be standing outside. It was the lady next door who had just moved in. The lady my mother started talking until she finally saw me hiding behind my mother's back. She then said this. I have a son your age, but he hasn't come out of his room ever since we moved in. Could you go in there and be his friend? Oh, so cute. <laughs> Whoa, this house is much bigger than I thought. Bro, how old is this kid? Why he look tall here, but he look like two years old <laughs> in the other scene? The stairs coming up here are a bit too high, though. It'd be bad if anyone fell. Okay, so you're foreshadowing right now? So that kid's in his room up there, huh? Bold of that lady to start bossing me around as soon as, if she, as, soon as she saw me. Bro, are you a kid or are you a teenager? I'm the one who's going to decide if I want to be his friend or not. What kind of kid is he anyway? Is he some kind of fairy tale princess or something? Phil! I've been thinking I'm Rapunzel because I do not leave my room. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, I love the animation so far. I love how. Okay, wait. This is gonna confuse the freak out of me. Okay. Oh, I have to do spacebar. What? Huh? It's locked. Let's try again. Oh. Uh, uh. Who's there? I don't I don't know that voice. Hey! Are you that kid that's stuck in the room all day? Open the door first and I'll tell you. No, 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 thank you. Please just leave. Okay. Eh? Why not? Just open it, will ya? Uh, okay, we can do open sesame. I'm hurt. Let's kick down the door. Let's do open sesame. You leave me no choice. Cause you don't get out your room. Period. Ah! Open sesame! Got it, got it. Oh. Oh. Awkward. The door opened with a click. Yes, sir! That's how you get it, bro. Being cringy, bro? That's the way to go. Seems like he felt embarrassed for you. Okay, alright. Well, guess what? You open your doors. I don't care. Oh, hey, it worked. Yo, what's up with your room? Why is the trees on your bed? Are you not unpacked? Why is your room slanted? What? Wh wait, are you crying? Yo. Are you crying because I came in here? But I just got here. Do you like being alone that much? Felt. I, I was already crying, and that is the reason why... What? Then why are you crying? Because I'm lonely. All my friends are back at where I used to live. Now I have no one. No matter how old I try, all the kids here I already know each other. It's gonna be hard for me to fit in. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I felt this sometimes, man. Not gonna lie. 
because I moved schools a lot because we moved around a lot and in each school it was it was a lot because I was moving from school to school like getting culture shock to like going to schools that were white dominant and then going to schools that are black dominant like I literally felt like I didn't fit anywhere so you know I kind of feel I, I felt him bro I'm not gonna I felt him even if they do hang out with me it's out of pity or adults telling me be to because I'm new I don't want that you're the same right you only came here because my mom told you to right well yeah duh the freak how am I supposed to know about you if you're always in your room <laughs> I knew it you just feel sorry for me but I didn't come here to try and be your friend, though. What? Then why? I was curious about what kind of kid you were. And from what I've seen so far, I think you're pretty lame and whiny and a bit of a scaredy crybaby. <laughs> Alright, but I'm so lame. <laughs> you're so mean. <laughs> I did so wrong. But hey. Yo, this is the start of every friendship in every anime that i know bro we got naruto we got what else we got what else we got i would say one piece but yeah one piece what else we got hunter hunter it's always that fist pump like come on fist pump me fist pump me man i didn't say i felt sorry for you did i do you just assume everyone feels the way you think they feel i talked to you once and you're already accusing me of something i never even thought of I think the real reason why you won't get any friends is the way you're thinking right now. Deciding what will happen in the future in your head and never actually trying anything in the present to fix it. If you're worried about people, be insincere when they approach you. Why don't you make them be sincere then? Why don't you make them be sincere then? I don't know why what I just said. I don't do friends just because someone told me to. So you try and make me want to be your friend first. Don't push people away from the start and keep working hard and people that will care about you will always stay by your side. That's what I was taught anyway. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After a rather nosy first introduction, Winnie and Whiny and I soon became inseparable. Oh. Since elementary school. He was an elementary kid, and even now, when we graduated high school. Hey, he's outgoing now! <laughs> I'm loving this! Everyone in town knew us, knew us two were close. We went and did everything together. Same street, same school, same class, same lecture, same club, same interests, same hobbies. That's a lot of things I've been saying. We were always together no matter what, to the point that sometimes it even felt a little eerie. Yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit. But Whiny suddenly stopped talking to me since last winter. We haven't talked since. I don't know what he's thinking. Okay, this is a good turn. I was really feeling it. <laughs> it's the end of July. Winnie's family is moving far away tomorrow. My parents don't know. We haven't spoken months, so... They told me to go out on a short drive with him since today was the last day Winnie and I can probably spend our time together. You'd think you'd be in the middle of a meaningful and reminiscent conversation with your friend by now. If it was the day before you're letting someone you've known for almost your whole life leave. But the car is silent. What to remember? You know, I like the number one because number one... Let's do three. Alright, what's memory three though? Click the elk symbol with your mouse to investigate. Wouldn't it be too weird to start rummaging through someone's stuff without their permission? Alright, bro! Especially if you haven't talked to that someone in almost a half a year. You really let that happen? It'd be too awkward. I'll take a peek later or something when he's not here. It's crazy how he's smiling now and like he's the guy who's like more like depressed like he's like outgoing like you know what I'm saying like look at him like how did that happen oh his hair Ugh, I can't just sit here in silence forever fine should I say something get ready so 
Huh? What? Well, let's not look. Mm, it, it's nothing. It's just been so long. <laughs> I'm surprised you talked to me first. <laughs> Go on. Um, who were the people crying outside your house? Is your leg all healed? The leg? Why were we moving? Let's 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 go. Let's ease in. <laughs> Don't you remember? I gotta send them to that uni we wanted to go to. But you gonna leave me? Did I not get accepted? The transportation costs are high, and my parents are moving their workplace near there anyway. So we just decided to move somewhere close to where the school is. University, huh? Isn't that nice? Why did he get depressed? Like they switched. Hmm. Oh, that does make me wonder. Hey, didn't we apply to the same school together? Oh, was that the only one that got accepted while you got turned down? Oh, yeah. Ah, don't feel so bad, Augie. I'll study hard for you on your behalf. <laughs> He's so irritating right now. Like, don't call me Augie. Ugh, is he actually trying to encourage me? It just sounds like he's passive-aggressively showing off. No, for real, look at him. You are nothing until I met you. <laughs> Let's do is your leg all healed. Ah. T took you long enough to ask. <laughs> of course, I broke it last winter, right? It's been months since. But I'm just having a conversation. Come on. Sometimes I lose strength in them, but other than that, it's all fully healed. Everything's back to normal. I never knew I suddenly tripped down the stairs like that. And on the day of the finals, too. I later heard that you played my position in the game on my behalf that night. Yeah, and I didn't win. You were always better at hockey than me. The audience loves you more anyway, too. What the freak is going on? They like switch personalities. Who are the people crying outside your house? Ah, those are my other friends. They all came by to say goodbye. They all came by to say goodbye. Oh, that was weird. So this man got new friends. He's outgoing. He popular. He the quarterback. He the whatever. I think I think it's soccer that they're playing. But you know, he's everything that he's not. But when they first met, he was nothing. And he was basically everything to him. Like, obviously, he should make other friends and stuff. But at the same time, don't forget your day ones. What is you doing, bro? So many people were crying. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I saw you get a bunch of bouquets and, uh, bouquets and bouquets, bro. I saw you get a bunch of bouquets and letters. And uh, last minute confessions. Why do I feel, why do I sense of, why do I get a feel of, uh, a little hint of jealousy right now just when did you get this popular you sure you want to spend your last day with me instead of your countless fans why do you not want to so when are you gonna ask ask what wasn't all this you warming up the conversation so you can ask about that the reason why I suddenly stopped talking to you you know why. Because you're an embarrassment to be around. <laughs> I would have slapped him so fast. I would have slapped him so fast. I'm sorry, like, my instincts, I just would have, I just, bow! And I would have, oh, my bad, my, my, my bad, my bad. Keep playing. Keep playing. Just by looking at that short conversation we had a moment ago, it's obvious that the difference between the two of us is incomparable. Yo, what? He went villain mode, bro. I got into the school you wanted to go to. I have a bucket full of other friends that adore me. I've been praised and recognized by the public. Then there's you. <laughs> what are you? What do you have? No brains, no social life, no skills. What does that make you? Trash. Trash is what you are. I pity you. You. What did you just say? Hmm? What's that? What's with that look? Say it. Say what you just said again. Ah, uh, okay. What's with that look? What's wrong? You're so cold all of a sudden. Did I say something wrong? Let's just calm down and... How could I calm down when you're sitting there treating me like walking trash? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Who do you think you are? Why do you always... Is it snowy? Yeah. Yo, this is so intense. Like, uh, just to be clear, it's currently July, right? <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is so good. I'm loving this. What's going on? I don't know. I'm too focused on talking with you. It was just like that when I looked back at the window. Oh, outside. Yeah, let's just go outside first. And the door is frozen. Oh, man, this is hilarious. Ah, no matter how hard I pull, it just won't budge. Uh, cancel. <laughs> Open Sesame, you're definitely doing that. It's totally jammed. Let's do this. Open Sesame, gotta do it. Gotta do I think. I think it's cold because of our emotions and memories and stuff. So I'm gonna do Open Sesame. Ha! Come it, come it! Oh, I just spit. Sorry, guys. Open Sesame! I think the car just got colder than before, Augustine. <laughs> oh my god. Let's kick the door open. This leaves me no choice. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me you're about to start kicking my... Z. Open, open. The door swung open. This man worried about his car. about to freeze to death. We're out! Ah! What? We really are out. Uh, sorry, sorry. I should have dodged fast. <laughs> ah, Augustine, your outfit. How did he just put on cold clothes? Like, winter clothes? What in the world? Cold front. This game is so lit right now. Oh, these are, these are freaking save slots? Um... We didn't make any decisions, so let's just stay in slot three. I thought... <laughs> That's funny. Um, alright, so... Oh. What the heck's going on? Why am I suddenly standing in the middle of a snowstorm in July? Snow in July, this really is serious. I didn't know climate change could come to be, could be, come to be this extreme. Everyone, let's take better care of the Earth. That's not important right now. I mean, it is important, but I guess even climate change can't just change outfits out of the blue. Look, look, our clothes. It's the outfit we wore last winter. This is awfully convenient. At least it keeps me warm. But if it was changed for our convenience sake, something doesn't match up. Our clothes suddenly swapping already doesn't match up. What is this? Winnie's outfit? Now that I think about it, your clothes. Aren't those for indoors? Yeah! Well, I did wear this during the winter. It was only when I was inside a building. Usually at school. Compared to you who's got a cozy hat with those ear thingies, a coat, and even those cute little boots, perfect for outdoors. Aren't you cold? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm freezing. You moron! Get back in the car right now! But B, but the but, but the door won't even close now after all that kicking you did. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. Why is our outfit different? What even is this blizzard? What does all this mean? Don't don't panic. We gotta preserve our energy. <laughs> hey, you okay? You've been shivering this whole time. Yeah, it's just so cold. Let me. Sit down and warm my hands a bit. Could you please just, uh, just check the car while I while I do that? Just, just check for something that might be of use, or if anything is wrong wrong with it. How could I say no if you're asking me like that? I'll be quick. Don't close your eyes. If you do, you won't be waking up. <laughs> oh, let's check the car. Oh, space bar. I keep forgetting. Space Whew, everything's frozen on the inside already, huh? Need something to melt it. Something with heat. Will I be able to find it? Um. Wait, why does it say we're out of fuel? I swear it was almost full when I checked it before. The situation is more serious than I thought. 
Am I really gonna freeze to death out here? Alright, let's see. Uh, what, what was that just now? I swear I just saw something. I saw stuffed animal, that's what I saw. Am I saying things? Did the cold get to me? Ah, get a grip on yourself, Augustine. Wait, this is... I don't remember him smoking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with those cool friends. He pretended to so he looked cool in front of the cool kids. Wow. When I warned him, all of them just called him a loser. The fact that he kept this means... Is he still hanging out with them? Wow. Just ignore my worries for him, huh? What? Am I not cool enough for him? Oh, they're so cute. Am I really an embarrassment? Anyways, the one thing that I actually need is a lighter. It's not here. Where the heck did he put it? I think that's everything. I need to check for now. Why is all this only happening to me? It's enough torture as it is having to spend time with. Whiny? Ah, uh, it's probably Winnie, but I'm calling him Whiny because he was whining when we first met him, so. What's going on? What happened? M my hands are freezing. Then why were you building a snowman with your bare hands? No, 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 no. that's not all there is to why I screamed. Though it is a tiny part of it. When you were still investigating the car, I... I saw an ominous shadow moving in the distance through the storm. An ominous shadow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really scared me. So, I made this little stone friend to call my mind. Cute, right? Say hi to him. Say hi to him. Say hi to him. Say hi. Bro, hold on. Let me choose one. I'm gonna say hi. He's not going to leave me alone if I didn't play along. Uh, so, um... Hi there, snowman. You can't just call him that. You gotta call him by his name. What? You even named him? What is it? Augustine! Why is it my name? Wouldn't that just be confusing? Then you can be Augustine too. Why am I too? Anyways, I don't think we should stay here much longer. I have a bad feeling. So, how about you? Did you find anything? It says the fuel's all out, so the car probably won't move. And we'll need a heat source for that frozen for the frozen parts inside. Couldn't find the lighter. Ah, that. I uh, uh, left it in my room somewhere. Since it's impossible for us to get there now, let's look for something else. Whew, then that means... Nothing will change even if we stay by the car, so... We have no choice but to walk forward. Our number one priority is to find shelter, plus heated fuel. Okay, tell me when you're ready. Alrighty, alright, 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 alright. Might as well get ready. And let's do that, and I'm ready. Smile, smile, we got this, we can do this. Go, 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 Stop hyping this up and just go. <laughs> I feel like I'm literally watching a 12 episode anime right now. Actually, six episode. Alright, let's go. Bro, can you, like, hurry up? <sighs> He's too slow! This leaves me no choice. I will talk to him and do that. Do what? Alright, get on my back. Huh? You obviously can't walk because of the cold. I'll carry you. <laughs> you sure? You don't have to overdo it. Since when did you care about that? I said it's fine. Just stop wasting any more time and... But if I trouble you, you... I got this. I can lift you up easy and... I said I don't need it. What? Don't want to trash? Like, don't want trash like me carrying you around would that be too embarrassing for you it, it's not like that why do you keep talking that way why do you keep talking like <sighs> fine whatever it's my fault for asking all right 
Uh, is that blood? Uh, th th that can't be. Is that blood? Why does it look like it's been dragged on the floor? Probably because it has been. <gasps> what is that? That's that's them two dead. Ice. Uh, fuck. Memory one. Yeah, memory one. Let's do a dead body that looks like a younger version of me. Frozen to death, covered in snow and blood. There's a deep scratch wound across the chest as it was attacked with something sharp. It's holding hands to the body that looks like a younger version of we Whiny. And, uh, okay, we got that. We got that. Multiple stab wounds on his stomach as if it was pierced with something sharp. So he has claws on him. He has stab wounds. Eek! What the heck is going on? The sudden snowstorm almost freezing to death? And now I have to look at my own dead body? This, this is all just a prank you set up, right? Tell me this is just a sick prank to mess with me. Because there's just no way all this is real. I, I, I can't believe it. You're really telling me there's something here with us that can cause those terrible wounds? No, let's, uh, let's be positive. The body's looking like us is just totally freaking me out, but seeing how it's right on the middle of our path, maybe it's a sign. A very personalized and terrifying, don't go this way sign. There still must be time for us to turn back. It's not like whatever attacked them is standing right behind us. Back. Off! You were able to buy time by shoving the creature back with your bag. You just had to jinx it! What are you standing around for? Ride! Um, yeah. This is memory one. Okay. Ah! Winnie! Or whiny! Uh, 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 sorry, I tripped a little. I'll be fine, so you should. Don't you pull that sacrifice card. Just get up already. You pulled Winnie up. Or whiny. Ah, thank you. You saved me. Shut up. We're not out of this yet. Oh, hold on. I'm not ready. It's not going to hide with how flat and wide this field is. It's possible to drive it away. And we're going to be out of breath any second now because of this gosh dang darn snowstorm. What the heck do we do? Wait, wait, Aki, I've got a plan. Hear me out. The floor we're standing on right now, I think it's ice. If we slam our foot down hard enough, we can make it crack. We can guide the monster to come towards that direction, and on its way to us, it'll slip on the crack. And with the ice not being able to handle its weight, the monster will fall right in under the water. Are you insane? What if we fall in two? Do you have a better idea? Ugh, no. Exactly. We get caught if we waste any more time. Come on. I got it. Let's have to do. All right, I don't have time. Let's stomp on it at the same time. Ready? One, two. Uh, the ice cracked. Oh, this is intense. We did it. This is intense. That did not have to be that intense. Uh, while we're doing this cutscene, go ahead and drink your water because my voice. With all this amazing voice acting that I'm doing right now. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it's working. It's going down. Wait, the crack's spreading wider than I thought it. What? Ah! Are you seeing? Gotcha. I knew, I knew we'd get messed up in this somehow. What did I tell you? Bro, calm down, man. Uh, how deep is this hole? It's basically a cliff. What the heck is going on with this place? It just doesn't make sense. All right, pull me up, hurry. Augustine. What? Whiny? 
What should I? What should I do? I, I can't feel my hands. I, I can't put any strength in them. It's all frozen. I feel like my fingers are gonna fall off any second. I, I can't put you up. I'm trying, but it won't let me. What do I do? What do we do? Don't. Don't do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that to me, bro. You think this is funny? It's not. I'm being serious. Stop joking around and pull me up. I'm not. It's not a joke. I wish it was, but it's not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. No matter how much I try to hold on, I just can't. Don't let go. Please don't let go. I'm your friend. We're friends. We are friends, right? Uh, 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 how am I still? My, my leg, it hurts. I can't, I can't get up. I, I can't I freeze to death here. I can't, I can't go out like this. Not because of him. Get up, get up. Move, 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 move already. You got up. I better get up. Get up. Get your get back. Cold. Cold, 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 cold. Cold is too cold. I never knew a person can feel this cold. Everything hurts like I'm being stabbed. The cold is piercing me. I probably won't be able to get up the, the next time I fall. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. He can really catch these hands because I don't know. Like, what's, Of course, everything's here is frozen too. How's, how's there snow when it's indoors? Wait. This is the hallway of his house. Why here? Is he somehow connected to why all this is happening? I just think about him makes me mad or makes my head hurt makes me mad though for now I need heat 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 anything warm hot literally anything that that's right the lighter he said it's somewhere in his room all right let's hurry up please pissing me off it's locked huh no 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 why is it why is it locked no no no, no. please why 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 now if I would I could get open but I don't have the strength this time the key I need to find the key I'm losing my senses. I need to find it quick. Oh, I can walk through the boxes? I didn't know that. Alright, did he put these up? Alright, what did he put up? He said, remember to smile and work hard. Muscle. Reminder, take stuff out of your pocket before putting them in the washer. I keep forgetting. To do, take the keys, return books, ask Augustine about the stairs. Ask Augustine about the stairs? Didn't he say he fell down the stairs and he said, did you forget I fell down the stairs? Ask Augustine about the stairs. We're friends, right? Did we push him down the stairs? Take stuff out of your pocket. Oh, he must have put the lighter in his pocket. Will looking at these pathetic pieces of paper be helpful? What the heck am I supposed to do now? Washer, it's when you get to the laundry. All right, let's see. They get back to that note on the mirror. Maybe he left the keys in one of his clothes when he putting them in the washer again. Would have hurt to check. I knew it. There's definitely something in. What is that? What the heck is this? The zipper on his back. Is this a fake bodysuit that looks like me? What? I know it's a hallucination, but what? Why me? Why am I in here? In his house? For now, keys. I need to focus on the keys. You see the keys from his pocket. Bro, what the freak is going on? This game is taking a long turn. It went from adorable to what? Yes, this is it. Alright, he said, where is the ladder at? Um, let's do three still. Okay. Oh, why is it so dark? I can't see anything. The ladder, where's the lighter? You desperately moved around the room with your arms reached out. And soon you suddenly feel something in your grasp. I did it! I found it! Oh, okay. No jump scare. I need to slide in the room. Uh, why is there a bunch of me's? What is all this? Uh, what is this? Th those are all... But this, this is his room! Why am I in his... 
Even the furniture looks like me? The furniture looks like you? The bed doesn't look like you? Ah, uh, I get it now. I knew it was suspicious how we were always stuck together. That bastard used me like I was his own. That jerk used me like I was his own. For his own advantage. Like I'm an object he put in his room. Like I'm his clothes he can wear whenever he liked. To act like me. To copy me. He applied to the same university as soon as he learned what school I wanted to go to. He started acting nice and got a confession out of someone who I already liked before. He suddenly got interested in an award I was already working to get and he was recognized for it. He even got into the hockey team I was a part of since I was young and stole my position. That's why in that picture he looked so depressed and he looked so happy. And played in a game I was supposed to. And played in a game I was supposed to and won. Stealing all the attention from everyone, even from my close friends who I knew before he came along. I wonder if this is his delusions talking. Like, is this also his delusions? Or is he actually like this? Everywhere I go, everywhere, everything I do, everyone that I meet, every time I wanted something, he always shows up and steals, replaces, ruins everything from my life. And leaves me with nothing. Now that I truly have nothing left, now that he's already stolen everything from me, he starts ignoring me, talking down on me, pities me. And now, you know, he's mad. He must be trying to get rid of me for good. To throw me away like a piece of useless trash. To get rid of any evidence of how he used me. That's right. I was always suspicious of him. I always hated him. I don't know how he did it, but yeah, he's delusional. I, I, I'm I, sorry. I think he's delusional. Everything that's happened from this moment, I got out of the car, is probably his fault, too. Yeah, all this must be his fault. He's trying to hunt me down. Augustine? Augustine, is that you? Oh, he's mad. It really is you. Whew, so you were here. I was so worried. I'm glad you're safe. You, you. How did you? Well, this place hasn't been really realistic so far. I couldn't hear anything after you fell down that hole. So I knew something else must have happened to you instead of... So I followed you in. I fell and now I'm here. I don't know why this place looks like my house though. Oh, and while I was going around looking for you... Whiny held up a gas tank. I found some fuel! Anyways, are you okay? Are you hurt? Found the lighter. Lighter? That's great! Now that we're both safe again, since we both looked around this floor, we should go downstairs. I'll wait for you outside. <laughs> Memory three. Oh boy! Oh, Snooky, 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 Snooky. Oh, don't you dare push him. If he was able to come down here and seeing how he survived after falling down, there's a chance that monster is also still around. Down. Here's the stairs to the first floor. Oh my god, remember? Remember he fell down the stairs and broke his leg? What if this was him pushing down the stairs and it went back in time like, you know what I'm saying? So then it seemed like he betrayed him and it's just a loop, an endless loop of betrayal. This jerk, he's, he's probably planning something to get rid of me again. Yeah, just like how he tried with that hole earlier. I need to. I need to strike him first. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Don't. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Snap out of it, Augustine. Are you okay? You're sweating bullets. And what's that with that scary expression on your face? You keep talking to yourself and accuse me of something I never said. I called your name multiple times just now. You didn't even answer. We can't go on like this. 
Augustine, I... I have something to ask you. When I fell down from the stairs last winter... I saw... You. I know you didn't push me. I know I fell because I accidentally tripped myself. I, I know that. But I knew you were at a distance where if you wanted, you could have easily reached out and stopped me from falling. When I was lying on the floor about to pass out, I also heard footsteps of someone leaving the area. And I heard that someone else called the ambulance other than you. Oh, wow. That's... But despite it all, I didn't feel resentful or, or enraged. I just felt confused. I think that was the first time I started seriously reflecting on our relationship. All along, I thought we were best friends, but since then I realized you might have thought of us differently. It felt like a wake-up call. Ever since then, I was paranoid about how you feel about me. I thought you hated me. I thought you didn't want to see me ever again. I was, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do or what to say, so I started distancing myself from you. But that didn't solve anything. It just made our relationship worse. What we need is a hug, a conversation, an honest conversation. Nothing will change if we just shut ourselves from one another. I'm not mad. I'm not disappointed. I'm not going to blame you for anything that's happened. So just talk to me. Tell me everything. If you don't, I'll never know until the day I die. Augustine, tell me how you feel. <laughs> I'm not crying, I'm not crying. The moment I heard the words, tell me how you feel. I have forgotten all my suspicion, my hatred, my fear of whining. And nothing but all the feelings I've been bottling up for all these years were left in me, which started to helplessly flood out in the most unsightly way possible. I, I, I envy you for succeeding, and I'm scared of what happened to me in the future because of it. I know I'm supposed to feel happy for you. I know I'm supposed to celebrate your success by your side. I know I'm being selfish. I know I'm being overly emotional. I know that more than anyone. I know I'm being pathetic. I know that. I know that. But I just can't help it. Whenever I see you, I can't help but think you stole everything from me. Oh my god. Whenever I start something, you suddenly start copying me and then take it away from me it wasn't just once or twice but every single time then you soon master at what I wanted to do making you loved and recognized covering me behind your massive shadow burying everything I've done so far in the ground taking away everyone that I wanted to oppress having everyone's attention and fortune heading towards you and now that you're adored by everyone you must have felt embarrassed for having to call nobody like me your friend no talent, no social life, no skills. Now all I have left is the fact that I'm your friend. But you have so much more in life than me. You won't need me anymore. So I thought you were getting rid of me. I was terrified. I was terrified of you. Is that really how you felt all this time? Augustine, I will never leave you. There's nothing in this world that can replace you. You were my hero. I looked up to you ever since we first met. I was able to be the way I am now because you inspired me with how bright and friendly you are. I was able to felt, feel at ease no matter where I went, what I did, because I had a friend like you with me. I think that's why I kept following you around. Because I didn't want to leave your side. But I now realize there are still things not even a friend should do. That there's a line that not even a friend should cross. I crossed that line way too many times up until now, huh? Yeah, just a little bit, Loki. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I should have respected your line. I should have thought about how you feel. I should have put myself in your shoes. But I was too blinded by admiration back then that I couldn't see that you were my one and only friend before my hero. It must have been so frustrating. It must have been so upsetting. You don't have to forgive me. I know apologizing now won't chase the past. But I just want you to know this. I'm not crying. Stop it. Shut up, bro. You are the coolest and brightest person I've ever met in my whole life, Augustine. I was only able to do all the things I've accomplished so far because you encouraged me back then. Because you gave me hope. You work hundreds, thousands, million times harder than me. And I remind myself every day how lucky I am to have ever met a friend like you. What do you mean you have nothing? 
You're someone who could take over the entire world if you wanted to. You're amazing like that. Thank you for trusting me and telling me the truth. Ah, uh, now I get it. It wasn't Whiny that was hunting me. The real hunter was... myself. Already deciding what's going to happen in the future, what other people will think of me in my head. Blaming others for all the misfortunes in my life. I'm not crying, bro. Please stop. Stop it. Stop it for real life, bro. Cut it out. <sighs> It's not true. I'm not as great as you think I am. You've always been a good friend. You always were. I was a fool to ever have taken it the wrong way. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I never should have let you get hurt. You're way more important than my pride. What was I even thinking? How could I have been so childish? I was stupid. I'm ashamed. Hey, we can call it even now since I did let you fall into that giant hole earlier. Is it really okay to brush this off that simply? <laughs> Augustine! Oh, it's the best! <laughs> you know, guys, without you guys, bro, I am nothing. Like, I know I'm getting, I'm getting like, sippy, but like, even if there's nobody watching, even if there's only one person watching, I thank you. Like, thank you. Because again, without you, I am nothing, bro. Like, ugh! I know it's supposed to be like Kai Tober, it's supposed to be like, you know, like spooky. But for real, guys, like, I genuinely enjoy being here recording video games for you guys. It does a lot more than just coming on here just to get some views, some comments, some likes. Like, I genuinely like being here, and I'm just glad if you're watching this, I'm glad you're here with me, bro. Like, we're friends, right? I think I deserve you. If you're okay with it, I'd love for you to be my friend. Then. Yeah, we are. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, are you okay? Breathe, Augie, breathe! It's just it's, it's so bit long since I cried this much. <laughs> oh, it's, it's okay, don't cry, smile, shush, shush. Uh, cal I'll calm down now, right? Uh, yeah, thanks. Glad to hear it. So, do uh, you remember the we're already dead theory I told you? I've been doing some more thinking on that end. You know how people say... A person sees their life flash before their eyes? When they're about to die or they're seriously injured? What if this is that? The situation we're in now is the flashback. Well, for us, it isn't just us watching the flash like a movie. We're actually experiencing, reliving it even. Th that means we're about to die in real life? I did hear ambulance sirens go off a few moments ago, but... Wait, then where are we now? A car accident, bro. Probably an important memory that we constantly look back to. A memory that impacted our lives the most. Oh, and another thing. Don't people usually see these flashbacks on their own? But look at us, we're sharing it. I think this is because the memories we're thinking of are the exact same. What were some memories you think that impacted you deeply in life? Meeting you and seeing you fall last winter. Mine too. Our first introduction and the first time the crack in our relationship was visibly shown. So the reason why it's suddenly winter now? Why our clothes are suddenly changed? And why this place looks like your house? It's because we're in a mixed memory of the winter when we first met. And the winter when I fell. The house is not the same way when my family first moved in. And our clothes are what we were wearing on the day I fell. You're in indoor wear since you were inside the school. You're in outdoor wear since you were leaving the building. Ah, oh, this is hurting my head. So what are you? So what you're saying is, we're currently in a coma and are in currently critical condition? What? Probably because of a car accident or something. And our consciousness are trapped in a mixed memory of the ones when we met and we fell down the stairs. Wow, you summarized that perfectly. 
Who cares about that? How do we get out of here alive? Hmm. Ah, I got it. This is a flashback of an important memory that we look back on often, right? Because the, of regret, because it deeply impacted our lives. If that's why we're having this flashback, if we get rid of our regret, get rid of the thing that's mentally haunting us, the thing that keeps making us look back to this memory, maybe we'll snap back out to the present instead of the past. Back to reality. Back to reality. Oop, the ghost gravity. Sorry, I know. Since no regret means no looking back by the thing that's hunting us, you mean? Yeah. I think that monster represents our unhealthy relationship the past few years. It looks like two different animals were forcefully mixed together. It felt like it was tremendous and tremendous pain and suffering. If we defeat that creature, I'm sure it mean that our relationship is restored. Our regrets will be gone. Because we got rid of what was making us suffer. We solved it. We can escape the flashback. Alright, let's do it then. I trust you. Okay. Uh, no need to get that cheerful over it. So how do we defeat it? All we have on us are... Fuel. And... The lighter. Set on fire. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, wait, 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 ah, speak of the devil. Well, I really hope it isn't the devil. Yippee, how convenient for us. All right, tell me when you're ready. <laughs> All right, bro, I'm ready, bro. Let's get this over with. Oh, save, stupid, save. All right, now let's get it. I'm ready. All ready, I'll splash a guy with the fuel as soon as I see him. Then I turn on the lighter and chuck it, yeah? Yeah, I love when we finish each other's sentences. Let's go on then, to the first floor. We got this! We got this. Eek, there it is! Where? Right there, 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 there! I don't see- Oh! What is looking right at us? Get the fuel going! Wait, I think it's kinda cute. You just get used to- So I messing around and pour the dang fuel now! I'm ready. But I gotta press. Now, Augie! I... Got it. Ah! Bro, I'm so excited! I love this! We did it. We did it! We really did it! Wow, that was so cool just now, Augie! Nah, the way you threw the tank was way more cooler. Then we were both going on. <laughs> oh my, they're so cute. <laughs> now that we got rid of the monster, what's our next move? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Our next move. About that. Uh, I didn't think this far ahead, actually. <laughs> you what? Maybe if we let ourselves burn here, too, we'll somehow wake up back in the real world. No, 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 no. That doesn't sound very comforting. If I die, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> No, for real. If I die, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to go back and push you down the stairs. Think I'm playing. Uh, uh. What? Why is everything upside down? This is the car. Is that s siren and ambulance? Huh? Wh whiny? Wh where's Whiny? Whiny! Ah, whoo! So my theory was right! The car crash coma trope. Isn't this cliche? <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't the version where we were already dead. Now that would have been troubling. How can you smile at a time like this? But you're smiling too. This is so amazing. <laughs> we had lost consciousness after the sudden crash and found ourselves waking up in the overthrown car. We were transferred to the hospital as soon as we were found. After our checkup, the results showed that despite the severity of the accident, Whiny only suffered minor injuries like small bruises. Never fails to surprise me, that guy. Compared to him, I... Fractured my left leg. I didn't feel upset, though. It was only fair. This made us even. Whiny's move was pushed back after the accident. For almost the whole summer, he stayed by my side so that I could recover faster. I'm not crying. The sudden blizzard, the icy field, the monster we faced. 
which do not show up over experience with a dream, a hallucination, or indeed a flashback that Whiny talked about. But one thing's for sure. Because of what we went through, Whiny and I were finally able to have an honest conversation. For the first time ever since we met, we became best friends. Eventually, Whiny left. That's sad. No Whiny is by my side anymore. <laughs> I want Whiny by my side. I want Whiny. Thank you for being my friend. That doesn't mean I'll be alone. <gasps> All the developers, Joseph develops Abraham. I'm trying to see, I don't know who did it. I, it went too fast. That was so good. Oh. <laughs> I'm, oh my God. There was multiple endings to that game, guys. Um, We got the true ending because, you know, you got to give your friend another chance, man. And honestly, I think everyone's been there at a point where they just, they get in their own head and it can affect relationships around them, like with your parents, friends, siblings. It can really affect your relationship with other people if you get in your head too much. So that game was so amazing. Um, I know it wasn't spooky for like Spooktober, but I think this is a good like halfway break. Like this is a good like halfway um, break in between all this spooky and, you know, just because it's about to be winter soon. So this was a good one. Um, it could have been horror. It could have been horror if we would have pushed him down the stairs. Yeah, that, that could have been horror. Keep your friends and family close. Um, give them another chance. Well, it actually, it depends It depends on what they do, okay? It depends on what they do. But don't always write them off. You know, always try to hear the other side of the story. Have that honest conversation, guys. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow for the next game. And thank you so much for tuning in to Kai Tober, 31 Days of Terror with a Sprinkle of Chaos. I'm about to go cry now. Um, this is...